The Gemara in Brachos on Daf Hey Amid Beis 5b tells the story of Rabbi Elazar, one of the students, Rabbi Yochanan, who was sick. So Rabbi Yochanan entered the room to visit him, and he saw that his student was lying in a dark room. So Rabbi Yochanan exposed his arm and filling the house with light. And Rabbi Elazar began to cry. And he said to him, why are you crying? And Rabbi Lazar said to him, I'm not crying over my misfortune, my illness, or my suffering, but rather over this beauty of yours. And all you do is you go like this, and you bring light to the room that we will decompose in the earth. So the Chabina Rebbe says that what happened was Rabbi Yochanan came into the room and he saw that it was dark. He saw that he was poor. He saw there wasn't, wasn't enough light, that his student didn't have the things he needed. And so Rabbi Yochanan began to take care to sweep the floor over here, to open a window shade here, to take care of little things. And when it says that his arm, that he exposed his arm, it meant he showed how with our actions, our words, the attention we pay to someone who is ill, we can fill the room with light. We can fill the world with light and warmth and love and friendship and care and chesed. And when Rabbi Lazar began to cry, to cry, saying, I'm crying because this beauty of yours will decompose, he was not referring to the light of Rabbi Yochanan's arm, teaches the Chabiner. He was crying how easy it is for people to practice Pikrocholim, but to do it without that sense, how much light we can bring into someone's life, that that light of the mitzvah will be forgotten and will be lost. It's incredibly essential during this time when most of us cannot visit in person to feel, appreciate that whatever we can do is a form of bringing more of Hashem's light into the world and that everything we do in, in or as part of the mitzvah bigger cholim should be with a commitment to bringing beauty, light, and joy into the world.